talk to us about that. Sir, good to have you back on. Uh, you took issue with a lot of what uh, ProPublica has had to say in their latest investigative article. W what exactly, what discrepancies did you find? Yeah, Rob, thanks for having me on. It's filled with errors, perhaps lies. Um, you know, what, you mentioned the yacht. They say that Justice Thomas was on a yacht in the Bahamas uh, with a friend, Tony Novelli, uh, sailing around uh, the Bahamas. The only problem is Justice Thomas has never set eyes on this boat. He's never been on this boat. He hasn't been in the Bahamas since the 1980s, which is about 15 or so years before he met Mr. Novelli. And he's never been in the Bahamas with Mr. Novelli. They have a story about a local chauffeur of Mr. Novelli picking up Justice Thomas to take him to uh, the boat. It's just completely false, 100 percent false. And so and the Novelli family has confirmed that Justice Thomas has never been on any of their yachts. So it's just so how, how, is, do they, how do they do a piece like this? I mean, aren't they going to get sued? I mean, it, it's, it's slander, isn't it? I don't know how they come up with it, but we've seen this repeatedly. They had another one in there, Rob, with uh, the golf course. Uh, Wayne Huizenga has a beautiful golf yeah. course down in Florida. He, you know, um, offered Justice Thomas a lifetime membership there as a, as a nice gesture, I think. Yeah. Justice Thomas yeah. doesn't golf, okay? So he said no to it. They leave that out of the story, right? Yeah. Justice Thomas has never golfed. He's never stayed at the cottages there. He's been there about five times once a year to have lunch with Wayne Huizenga. So this is what... And, and, Justice Thomas's in-laws, so who used to live down in Florida, and that's why Justice Thomas was down there. So you have these stories that have, you know, no, and, and in, the, in, in, in the, the article, they have, yeah. they've splashed it with photos of this yacht, which Justice Thomas has never seen, with this golf course, which Justice Thomas has never been on or golfed on. Um, there's another story in there about Justice Thomas going to a Nebraska football game, right? Lots of people go yeah. to football games, lots of, uh, you know, public officials go and enjoy a game. Uh, he loves the Nebraska Corn Husker, Huskers. He's addressed the team before. Yeah. Uh, Tom Osborne hosts him in his uh, in his box. The ticket price, which is easily available to find out from from the uh, athletic department, there was sixty five dollars for these seats. Right. Okay. But 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 ProPublica makes it into some forty thousand dollar gift that Justice Thomas should have disclosed. And with all of this, they have so much time to report on nothing about Clarence Thomas. When's the ProPublica piece going to come out about, you know, the seven or ten million dollars that the Biden family took from China? I'm just curious when, when that piece will drop. I, I don't see it coming anytime soon, but we'll see. Mark, I got you know I got to go ahead. Five yeah. seconds. Go ahead. Yeah. Look at ProPublica's website. They yeah. have nothing on the Biden administration. Nothing. They're perfectly Ever. fine with the corruption from the Biden administration. It tells you everything you need to know. Uh, Mark Paulotta, thank you.